Hello, Acron fans, and welcome to this replay cast between God and Vicarin on Hills. I am Shadow363, your host, and I hope you're not sick of this level yet. Because I sure am. <laughs> Seriously, people, there are more levels than Hills. There are 30 levels in this game. There are at least 15 levels that are good for 1v1. But, pardon my rant. Anyhow, God is going for Vekir, and Vicarin is going for CISO. So I assume that God is going to be going for... And uh, there we go, two RPs, one on QP, one on LC, so very likely to see a very quick Zion Pulsar Rush. Well, Vicarin going for CISO, I imagine he'll be going for a very quick Factory, and then from there, two very quick ATHCs. In this case, I assume the ATHCs will lose. However, I will be interested to see what Vicarin does actually do, because Vicarin is a really good player, and so is God. This, is, this should be a really good match, actually. I mean, both these players are quite good, but, but Jay Raccoon's here. Okay, if, you, if you've been watching the stream thus far, if you're on YouTube, you probably won't see this because I'm probably going to post the videos in question to YouTube. You can check Twitch TV to see the recordings, but some of the replays were corrupted. All replays involving Jay Raccoon as a player, for some reason, seem to have errors. They seem to have playback errors. I'm not sure why. So, I apologize if this doesn't quite work out. If it doesn't, blame Jay Raccoon. The rest of us are. Anyway. If he's an observer, it probably shouldn't do too much. Observers can't actually affect the game. They, they jump around anything, they propagate it, so it should be fine. I think this should work. Anyway, God is setting up a very quick depot, as I mentioned before. He's definitely going for a very quick Zion Pulsar attack. Though I don't see the Zion Pulsar yet, he doesn't have he doesn't have resources for it. He looks like he's trying to build one fresh. Vikran, on the other hand, has gone for a very, very, very fast attack with... Well, he got rid of the Zion Veer, that was, should have been used as Zion Pulsar. Very quick attack with infantry, so God's going to have a hard time building up from this. But it looks like he does have the Zion Pulsar nonetheless. He will be able to deal some damage with that. And this infantry sh will have a bit of a tough time, but Caesar infantry can actually take out Zion Pulsars. As I found out the hard way. But they can in fact take out Zion Pulsars, so it's not like Vikran is going to be completely defenseless. It's just that ATHCs won't be the best answer. They will however be a good answer, especially with the infantry that are coming in right now. Now, God, as you can see, the... Now, when I say Caesar Infantry can deal with it, I mean in larger numbers. Like, five or six Special Ops and Marines can actually deal with the Zion Pulsar pretty well. But given that Vikran only threw over two, that's going to be a bit less effective. Now, given a slight lull, I'm going to take this time to announce that there is an Akron Tournament. Christmas Tournament, over the weekend of the 21st to the 23rd, hosted by Rock Mox. And you can find more information on the forums and sign up and everything. And it will be best of one for every match up until the semifinals and finals, best of three. I will put a link in the description and an annotation in this video. So you can go check that out. No, a description on the YouTube video, not the Twitch TV video. The Twitch TV recording doesn't seem to properly handle descriptions for some reason. But definitely in the YouTube video, there will be a note there mentioning this tournament. So it looks like J Raccoon. Oh, sorry. Look like at J Raccoon's not actually corrupting this replay. That's good. Everything so far so good. Looks like God is going to be. Where is that Zion Pulsar? There's a Zion Pulsar. So he's going for that attack. Both players are really trying to hug that unplayable past edge. Vikran hasn't even built his factory yet, though he doesn't have the resources, but. Really, I almost would say to go for infantry. I'm, I am honest. I, I've got to be honest. I really would say go for infantry just because half a dozen seas of infantry can deal with a Zion Pulsar. However, he is not. He is going for the ATHCs. And once the unplayable pass catches up because both players are hugging the unplayable pass, we will see how the ATHCs fare. And God's coming in. His Zion Pulse is coming in from the north. And his infantry as well, so they're syncing up quite nicely. And. Are there more Zion Pulsars coming? Not yet. He doesn't have enough resources for that quite yet. Vikarin definitely has a safer economy going. And should be able to actually deal with this pretty well. And let's see here. Yep, two HSTs coming in. The infantry going around, scouting around. They will be able to find this Tethvir over here. The Tethvir being mostly an anti-Aryan, won't be able to deal too much damage. And Zion Pulsar... God's not actually attacking the Zion Pulsar yet. Interesting. He's decided to move back with that. Keep it held back while the agencies go for an attack. 
which, like I said, probably won't work because this rush was developed against ATHCs, but then God is coming in further in the past with a with that Zion Pulsar and will be able to probably run in the infantry, actually. So it looks like Vikran will find it with his infantry and will lose his infantry very quickly to it. And no, not quite. His infantry stayed just out of the sight range, but a foundation being used for healing built up by the Shinbir, just like last time God did this against Karn Aberrant. But Vikran in a much better position right now. His ATFCs are all up. He has infantry set up nicely. And however, the foundation has been built. The infantry are trying to rush forward to deal with the Zion Pulsar. They are spreading out nicely, but n taking too much damage on their own cannot deal with it. And he's trying to get rid of the Shin Beer before... Well, actually, he doesn't have any before. The unplayable pass is all that is before. But if we get rid of the foundation, he should be able to at least stop the Zion Pulsar from doing too much damage. At this point, if he doesn't hit the Zion Pulsar, actually, first, the foundation being the only thing he attacks, then no healing will occur, so God's going to actually have a hard time dealing with this. And he might be he probably will be switching his RPs over fairly soon to get a second Zion Pulsar. But yes, he's going straight for the foundation, dealing a lot of damage to it, and we'll be able to get rid of it. So now all he needs to do is get rid of the Zion Pulsar, but it is gonna be quite difficult. The infantry will go down no problem, but after that, it will be hard to actually deal with. And it looks like the infantry are trying to get rid of this Teth Veer. Once again, the Teth Veer will be a bit of a distraction for the ATCs, but otherwise not too much of a threat. And getting that Shin Beer as well, so now only the Zion Pulsar left, and it looks like, as I mentioned before, the Zion Pulsar will be able to deal enough damage to Vikarin that he won't be able to take care of it too easily. But another ATC coming up for Vikarin. Like I said, Vikarin in a much safer economic position. God will need to do some RP switching if he wants to get more Zion Pulsars, though I imagine he will be doing so. He doesn't have any infantry in his main base, he doesn't have any infantry building up, actually. In from his point of view, he doesn't have any Zion Beers building up, he has nothing else going. He is, however, retreating with the Zion Pulsar, does not want to lose it. Wise move, because from Vikram's point of view, he did actually kill the Zion Pulsar. But yeah, God has moved it back, and he will not lose it, unless Vikram intercepts, which he is planning on doing. He's moving HTC around to try to intercept that Zion Pulsar, or at least, at least to assault the base. Either way, it's good. And God did do an RP switch, so he will be getting... He will be getting another, well, Zion Beer. Probably get another Zion Pulsar as well fairly soon. He has a Zion Beer set up. I'm not sure if he's going to jump that into the depot. And yes, he will. That Zion Beer is turning into a Zion Pulsar. And now he's going back to LC. Vikarin is going to be building up from this. Probably getting... Maybe more ATHCs? Yes, he's getting more ATHCs. How about that? <laughs> not exactly surprising. Though ATHCs are still kind of a risky move. They aren't that powerful against Zion Pulsars. They do not have the reduced damage that they used to from being cloaking units. And... They're also... Not that tough. They're fairly strong, but not that tough. So this won't work especially well, especially since God's Zion Pulsar boat over here has skipped teleport. We'll be able to move back to get there, so Vikran has retreated, decided to avoid that conflict entirely. Probably best bet hmm, in this time scale. Hard to say, it's really close. I mean, you can't really spend time researching machinery or anything like that, because in that time, he's probably gonna really fall behind in terms of units. Granted, getting a tank or two would be useful. Getting a tornado would be awesome. Getting Lancers, as I mentioned before, which Vikram is actually doing, would be the best move given what he has for resources and time. And that's exactly what he's doing. Because, of course, Zion Pulsars are purely anti-ground units. They can't hit air at all. They are, therefore, completely helpless when it comes to fighting Lancers. And here we'll see the moment of truth. The Lancer is moving south. The fight's over that way, dude. Okay, it looks like Vikram was probably trying to protect this expansion over to the south. And... He hasn't taken it yet, but Zion Pulsar actually moving into position for that Lancer to take care of, and now retreating, God will be, be building, he will be building a Teth Pulsar by now, I'm sure. He, well, actually, no, he can't, he doesn't have enough resources for that. One more pull of QP will get him what he needs for a Teth Pulsar, but he's not doing that. So Vikran's actually managed to get himself into a decent position. He's going to be able to hold off any Zion Pulsars that come in from this point on. So now God's going to need to change up his tactics. So nice little counter. As I mentioned before, Lancers really are kind of the counter to... Well, not a counter. They are the counter to Zion Pulsars. The only downside is that they aren't super tough. So if a Teth Pulsar is built, if it's a safer all-in rush, if one that doesn't involve turning all your Zion Beers into Zion Pulsars, which gods did, then it is possible to use Teth Pulsars to get some of those and then deal with the Lancers that way. However, with enough ATHCs, even that would be kind of tricky. So God trying to do what he can against Vikran and actually doing quite a bit of damage to the economy... Hitting near the Unplayable Past, Vikran not responding to this has very little chronology with which to do so. 
And it looks like he's decided, you know what, forget my base. Nope, not forget his base. He is not forgetting his base. He is actually going to defend. But at the same... Well, slightly further in the future, he's going for scouting. But he will be defending against this. He will be able to take out this Zion Pulsar. But he's lost most of his economy in the process. So now both players are about even in economy. Both players have two RPs running, though... Vicar in a much better position militarily, and has marines with which he can actually do some proper expansion. And it looks like Vicarin just second the pillow pass, seeing what went on, seeing what happened with this. But a Lancer... Oh, shoot, that sucks. Getting close, but not quite close enough. So, Vicarin just double-checking the damage that happened. God for them in the future. And as you can see, Vicarin actually is sending his forces for just an attack. He is actually forgetting his main base and going straight for an attack. Why is Vikram confused? Did he not see what, what happened? Or maybe he's not sure about the skip teleport. Anyway, he is apparently going straight for an attack. He isn't... He isn't staying here. It looks like he had a mech set up for a macro fight, probably trying to build Mar tanks to help deal with this, but what he has now is sufficient. There are no Teth Pulsars coming up. God does not actually have a good position for defense against this, so... Vikran will be able to destroy everything God has. Like, Vikran should win this game. I don't see how he's going to lose. But God might just be able to... He is, he is building a Teth Pulsar. He is actually trying to defend against this. And he it's got about 10 seconds, but I think Vikran will be able to destroy it in time. No, Vikran's retreating. What? No! No, don't retreat. Don't retreat. You're in the best spot ever. Oh, okay. So Vikran looks like he's trying to save his main base, but... No, he really needs to attack. That He had one chance, and he, he had it. He... He was in position to deal with this. And once this Teth Pulsar is up, he's lost what advantage he had. I mean, he had a crippling blow advantage. Oh, this is painful. I mean, granted, he is able to destroy the economy pretty much entirely. But he's got to build up even further in order to deal with this. And it looks like two Teth Pulsars are out now. Getting rid of those Lancers quite handily. Lancers are just going to go for a suicide mission, destroy these RPs, make sure God has no economy whatsoever. At the very least, slow him down that way, but it looks like... Oh man, this is painful to watch. Yeah, God has managed to just completely tear apart Vikran's economy too, so both players are running on fumes right now. But it looks like Vikran has not committed to destroying God's base as much as God is committed to destroying Vikran's. And I think that will actually give God the win, though it's very hard to tell. Right now it's all down to unit tactics. And if these Lancers don't die, it actually might be impossible to get away with this. Because... As it stands, these Lancers are in a bad position. Vikran letting them die is not a good idea. He doesn't have the economy to rebuild. He doesn't have anything. He's, everything he has that we see right now is all he has. These three ATCs, these... Well, was three. Now two Lancers. Probably will be one eventually. That's it. That is the entirety of his forces. He has no RPs. He can't do any conversion. Not that he has enough resources to convert with to rebuild. So his entire game plan is going to be just destroying everything God has. God, however, does have some RPs left. He has one RP left. Oh, it looks like that was actually not intended. That, that's weird. Not like there was anything in the base that needed support, but apparently you just decided to retreat. Odd. So, okay, so Vikran did not, according to the chat logs, intend to leave. But has decided to surrender. I guess really can't really catch up to what God has. So Vikram has surrendered. Wow, that was that was surprising. I really thought that Vikram was going to win that game. Just just having seen what he had and the position he was in. Well, that's painful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's it for tonight for me. I'm probably be casting more a few days. But for now, that's what there is. So I hope you enjoyed that. And have a good night, everyone.